every night. I Ooh, this is the new Doctor Strange movie. Okay, all right. You break the rules. Look out! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! What's this creature's name? Isn't he from Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Sumagorath! Oh my god, bro. I used to play this tentacle freak in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's not him? This is not Sumagorath? Are you kidding? What is this? Wait, wh what? It's Shuma, but it's not? It is? Wait, okay. People are telling me that it is and it's not. How? How? Wait, hold the hold the fucking phone. I, what? Sir. Sir. How is this not the what? Huh? The but what? Good. What? Huh? What? They look nothing alike? Dude, are you an Eldridge god? Oh yeah, wow. That's for a cool Because I I might have Eldridge god face blindness, but this is the same tentacle beast. Am I being racist against Eldridge gods? Am I am I being a, a a racist monster saying that all tentacle beasts look alike because these tentacle beasts look very alike? They had to change the name for licensing reasons? What? Wait. Wh why? Who has the rights to Shumagorath? And in turn, Marvel Studios doesn't technically own... Wait, what? Do the... Gargantos? Oh, what a shitty name. What a shitty name! Why didn't they make his name Eldridge? They could have made it like Yog Garthos or Yog Shuma, Shuma Yog, something like that. They are held by a little entity called Heroic Signatures. What the fuck is Heroic Signatures? And why the fuck didn't they license the rights to this character? Oh, these people still owe the rights to fucking Conan the Barbarian? What in the world? I, I am just, I am just shocked. I am just shocked. How do, okay. How the, can I be honest? How the fuck can they get away with that? I'm going to be real. If Heroic Signatures didn't license them, that character, I don't feel like that. That's crazy. I feel like they got to get a lawsuit inbound. Gargantos is a separate character. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. What the knockoff fuck is this? This is we have we have that character at home version. What in the knockoff dick? This is the we have Shumagorath at home version. This is a fucking knockoff, bro. And he's fighting the fucking submariner? This is bullshit. This is wish app Shumagorath. This is some dumb shit. And the movie doesn't even, the movie version doesn't even look like this. This is bargain, this is Walmart brand, bro. What the fuck is this character? And why am I only seeing one fucking comic depiction ever? Dude, this, there is some fuckery, there is some fuckery around. There is some fuckery about. Okay. There is some fuckery about when the Marvel fucking wiki doesn't have his powers, abilities, biography, or personality. Bro, they went deep into the butt crack. They went deep into the butt crack 
of the Marvel universe to pull off, to pull out knockoff version. Oh my God. He appeared in two issues of the comic books. He appeared in two issues. Oh yeah. Wow. That's right. One issue of the Submariner from 1969. Dude, yo, legendary signatures. You need to sue. This is fucking bullshit. This is hornswoggle, bro. This is a hornswoggle. Bro, I love how Marvel heads too will never admit that it like like that it's a lie. They'll never admit that they don't know a character. Oh yeah, I, of course I remember the 1969 issues of Submariner, bro. What are you not a Marvel fan? <laughs> we all remember those 1969 issues of Submariner. No, you fucking don't. No, you fucking don't. You jumped on the wiki, same as I did. You just did it before I did, okay? Don't fucking piss in my face and tell me it's raining, Marvel fans. You crazy? We know what character that is. We all, that is not your discount bin version of the, the cosmic, the, the HP Lovecraft villain, okay? Dude, that character in the comic honestly looked like Mike Wigowski mixed with 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 a fucking Eldritch God. It looked like the Monsters Inc. version of an Elder God. Do not do not spit on my cupcake and tell me it's frosting. Okay? That was fucking Mike Wigowski on a bad day. Okay, and everybody correcting me on a Polish last name, you're insane. Okay, that's the point of Polish last names is to be pronounced wrong, all right? My uncle's Polish. His last name is Frankoviak, and he just asks for people to call him Mike Frank, okay? I feel so torn about the DC Universe because Batman and Black Adam, I'm fucking in. Dr. Fate, give me that dick. Put it in my mouth, slap my face with it, Tell me I'm a dirty girl. The Batman, I'm there too. Peacemaker, whatever happens there. Fucking Hawkman, I'm ready. The Flash and Aquaman, they're gonna suck. I, you can't save those IPs. You can't save them. Flash will be good. How? How will it be good? The only way the Flash could be good, and I'm telling you this all sincerity, is if with Flashpoint... Flash does what the most recent Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse did or whatever. Sorry, uh, return, whatever the fuck the name of the last Spider-Man was. And they just reboot everything. They just get rid of everything. They, they kill the actor that they have currently playing the Flash and they just fucking start over. They just kick it. They gotta, they gotta get their actor that they have playing the Flash out. They gotta get their version of Batman out. Superman, gone. Lex Luthor, fucking gone. They, they literally have to use Flashpoint as a way to be like, we're sorry. How the fuck are we doing Flashpoint Paradox and we still don't have Green fucking Lantern? What the fuck? This is like doing Avengers without the Hulk. What the fuck are we doing? He's like, he's, he's, he's like fucking A-list, bro. And I get it. You made one bad movie. You made one movie that just tanked on its own dick. And you made a shitty fucking movie. Do it again. Green Lantern is like fucking cornerstone IP for DC. Darkest Day? I don't know. The only way The Flash could be good is if Ezra dies in the first 10 minutes of the movie. If he goes back in time and just immediately dies and like the, the other flash that they have back in the timeline is like, oh my God. Take no shit from anyone. And then it just. Fate in a DC movie is either going to be amazing or infuriating. God, I hope that don't do that charter dirty. I, I think, I think fate will be sick. I think fate will be sick. I think he's going to die in that movie though. I think they're going to bring his daughter in real quick.
Birds of Prey was fire, though. The entire DC core universe, right? The Justice League core universe is broken. And the reason it's broken is because it came out right after Dark Knight, right? Man of Steel was the Dark Knight version of Superman. And to make your entire universe this like dark, brooding, tortured, like we're the, we're the fucking dark. To kill Amber Heard's character. It sucks, right? And, and, and Man of Steel was like a passable film. But to base your entire universe on a film that I would give like a C minus, a generous C minus, they were bound for destruction. Right, right from, right from fucking Jump Street. They were fucked. Because every other character was the Dark Knight version of its character. We have the Dark Knight Flash. We have the Dark Knight Wonder Woman. We have the Dark Knight fucking Wonder Woman. And we got Batflack. And it's just all like, ugh. And then you see something like Peacemaker and it's like, holy shit. DC can be fun and dark and, and tortured and still have laughs and laugh at itself and do fun things and get out there and be different. It's like, holy shit. And then they did the same thing with Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol fucking rules. If you haven't watched Doom Patrol, it's like, oh my God, why are we only getting good DC projects out of fucking tangential characters? Shazam was also good. Shazam fucking ruled because they allowed it to be fun. And not many people know this, but Shazam... I'm false. Uh, I don't take no shit. Captain Marvel was bigger than Superman at one point. Film with Superman's upbringing and struggle of self-identity and his relationship with his father. Yeah, but there was 30 minutes of the movie that was just characters being pinballs. There was no weight. There was no weight. There was no weight whatsoever. I'm sorry, but 30 minutes of that movie... We're just characters. Bling, bing, 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 ping pong balls. Oh, ooh, ah, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. I don't shit on Man of Steel as hard as I shit on some of the other movies, right? I mean, Justice, dude, Justice League. The copium surrounding the fucking director's cut of Justice League is like one of the is like one of the hardest copiums of all time. If we add an hour to the runtime of this really bad movie and change the, the the screen ratio, it'll be good. It was just a bad movie that was longer. What the fuck? Do you think Think an updated Steel movie has potential? Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. Absolutely. A, a superhero of color in the DC universe? Yeah, shoot that into my fucking dick, bro. And I'm going to say it, Steel is cooler than than uh, Black Panther. Steel is fucking gnarly, bro. Steel fucking rules, in my opinion. But I'm a DC fan. So, you know, I, I'm a fucking, I'm a loser. But I think Steel fucking ruled. Your, this is your daily reminder to tweet at anyone and everyone that will listen to you and begin the campaign for Will Neff as Booster Gold. I, bu I bought a full Booster Gold cosplay, okay? That I'm going to unveil on stream. And when I do, listen, I am Booster Gold. You've just been saved by Booster Gold, okay? This is me. I'm Booster Gold. I'm going to get in shape. I'll do steroids. I don't give a fuck. I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I'm Will Neff for Booster Gold, it needs to be a grassroots movement. Okay? Listen. Bernie heads, you know the power of a grassroots oh, movement. Oh, that's right. I need you to get behind this movement. Instant laughs. Okay, Will Meth is Booster Gold. All right. Yes, this is all you need to know, dude. Thank you. See, dude, look at that. Look at that. Who's that guy? Booster Gold. Who's that guy? Will Neff. Same. 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 Okay, I'm gonna say something, and and and. Listen, you can judge me because it's creepy. It's weird. I wish all women looked like Batman Beyond Women. The aesthetic of the Batman Beyond Women 
is insane. What is what is going on in Gotham? In whatever year this was. Bro, they are all fucking neo-noir dimes. They are all neo-noir super hotties. It makes no sense. I'm down catastrophic. Dude, oh my God. Fucking, what's her name? 10? Is she 10? She's 10, right? From the, from the, um, the, uh, deck of card gang. Oh, shit. Oh my God. Oh, Terry McGinnis. Dude, Terry McGinnis never stood a chance, bro. Terry fucking McGinnis, bro. He was up. I mean, look. <laughs> okay, sorry. That That's a... Hey. Listen, it's Valentine's Day, okay? If I don't give one horny take, what am I here for? Wow, that's for cool. William, this is your testicles speaking. If you yep. browse this any further, we are going to explode. Jesus Christ. I think Moon Knight is up against it. I'm going to be honest. I'm really excited for Moon Knight. I'm, a star. I, I'm very worried. I, I'm worried about uh, Moon Knight because I think Moon Knight, to me, is like the tortured slash horror hero. Um, or anti-hero and I really want it to be scary and dark and gritty and shocking it'll be PG-13 unfortunately well it's a series so it's not going to have a rating but I think in spirit uh, it will be a PG-13 project and I think anytime you try and accomplish kind of like that horror aesthetic with Disney masters it can come off smacking of like just being a little flat Marvel's Moon Knight is brutal, says Kevin Feig. We're not pulling back. Exclusive image. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And I think the, the reason you have Kevin Feig saying that is because he knows people are worried like I am. I think it's going to be like Star Wars. I think it's going to be laser violence with no blood. I think Kevin Feig knows. I think Kevin Feig probably watched his own project and was like, ooh. Uh, but hey, it could be great. It could be fucking sick. I think Moon Knight is a very cool character. I think he has um, really, really cool IP to work off of. Uh, I think it'll be great. God, dude, pronunciation Andes. Everybody relax.